welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Halogen FM from GeForce Software. It's a fantastic FM synth with the, without the actually need to do a lot of programming. It's incredibly easy to use and if you love FM that is the synth for you. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So, it's uh, honestly, it's actually really, really good. As you can see, uh, you have a lot of selection in terms of uh, presets. The pods sound absolutely fantastic. So a lot of different patches that uh, you can select from, right? Pads, leads, keys, etc, etc. And of course you can have also things like drones. So the pads are my favorite, but you have a, a lot of different uh, uh, and unique patches as well when it comes to keys. Two operators, as you can see, operator number one here on the left hand side and operator number two here on the right hand side. And um, the unique thing of these synth is, is that you can just click on these uh, um, spark button here with these little stars, which you can, you can find also alongside the operator like so here and here as well on operator number two. Okay, and that enables you to randomize and therefore create a new patch. So let's try. You can also click here on the visualizer. Let's go up an octave. And of course, you can continue like so. Why don't we try something like a bass? A DX basses. Very familiar for, of course, players which used FM synthesis before. Let's try some lead. A classic brass sound. Let's try some plaques, why not? And 
and of course you can act here where it says effects these are macro controls and you can increase the reverb <laughs> Or you can click here on the plus sign and you have further controls for the LFOs here and for the reverb itself. So you can change the mix, for example. Or the def. really great now the LFO is great you can of course act on different destination as well pay attention here you have also a randomizer button here or a spark battle which is great of course it allows you to change uh, the parameters without changing the destination and of course you can change here the impact <laughs> In this case, we were changing here the frequency parameters, right, for operator number one. You have option to change duration, of course, if you want to go deeper in the setting of the parameters, like the ring settings, fix the frequency as well. So there is, there is a lot that you can do, after touch controls as well. You can introduce distortion, brightness, change the timber um, setting as well and so on, pump, volume, envelope for the modulation, amplitude, really a lot of different options. And as you can see, here yeah, you have glide option, tune options as well. And then of course you have similar parameters in operator two, with the addition of course, that you can also use operator two here with this dial to uh, cross modulate or i.e. feed um, into operator number one. Okay, so it's really good here to have also the ability to have these micro controls to change the overall mix. You can go mono to poly, for example, you can change um, the timber here as well, and of course, randomize it, which is great. <laughs> you can change the envelope. You can see change in here, which is absolutely great. And of course, you can change the modulation as well. You can see in green in the visualizer, the operator number one. And of course, the pink one will be operator number two when it is active, right? So there is really a lot that you can do. But let's explore some other patches. Magic patches. So, as you can hear, magic atmospheric right that particular patch the something that fm synthesis of course can do that others can't and that is the particular sound right it's really good the metallic on bells is really great <laughs> Nice to see also the ability to initialize a patch, which is great. So you can start like that and then you can have a go and randomize it, for example, parameters.
this sounds already really nice and why don't we add some effect Great, and I just really clicked a couple of times and I created a new patch. Let's try an octave lower. To transform that to mono. Change here the attack. Or if I don't like it, make it longer. That of course is on the modulation, I can do the same here. On the amp envelope. Let's go back to poly. Let's limit here the timber. And of course here you have access also to settings for the synth itself. So have a go, it's really a great synth, really really straightforward, easy to use, doesn't require a manual really or an in-depth tutorial to actually understand how it works. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and demonstration and as always see you next time, bye!